What if I told you that you can generate electricity without using any fuel, any wires, or any batteries? Sounds impossible, right? Well, not if you have a magnet motor. A magnet motor is a device that uses magnets to create a perpetual motion that can power a generator and produce free electricity. Sounds awesome, right? But how does it work? And is it really possible? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video. So buckle up and get ready for a mind-blowing journey into the world of magnet motors. So what is a magnet motor and how does it work? Well, a magnet motor is a device that uses magnets to create a perpetual motion that can power a generator and produce free electricity. The basic idea is to arrange magnets in such a way that they repel each other and create a continuous rotation of a wheel or a shaft. This rotation can then be used to drive a generator and generate electricity. Sounds simple, right? But there's a catch. According to the laws of physics, such a device is impossible. Why? because it violates the law of conservation of energy. This law states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. So, if a magnet motor can produce electricity without using any external source of energy, then it means that it is creating energy out of nothing, which is impossible. So, how do magnet motor enthusiasts explain this? Well, they claim that magnet motors are not creating energy out of nothing but rather tapping into an invisible and infinite source of energy that exists in the space around us. They call this source of energy zero-point energy, or ZPE for short. ZPE is the lowest possible energy state of a system, where even at absolute zero temperature, there is still some residual energy left. Some scientists believe that ZPE is the source of dark energy, the mysterious force that is causing the expansion of the universe. So, according to magnet motor enthusiasts, magnets are able to access this ZPE and convert it into usable electricity. They say that magnets are like antennas that can pick up the ZPE waves and amplify them. They also say that magnets have a special property called spin, which allows them to align with the ZPE field and create a resonance effect. This resonance effect is what causes the magnets to repel each other and create a perpetual motion. But is there any scientific evidence to support these claims? Well, not really. There is no conclusive proof that ZPE exists or that magnets can access it. In fact, most scientists reject the idea of magnet motors as pseudoscience and say that they are nothing but scams or hoaxes. They say that magnet motors are either fake or have hidden sources of power, such as batteries or wires. They also say that magnet motors are unstable and prone to failure due to friction, heat, and magnetic interference. So, who is right and who is wrong? Is there really such a thing as free and forever energy from magnets, or is it just a pipe dream? So, now that we have some idea of how magnet motors work, or at least how they are supposed to work, Let's take a look at some examples of magnet motors that have been claimed or demonstrated by various inventors and enthusiasts. Some of these magnet motors are very simple and easy to make, while others are more complex and sophisticated. But do they really work? Let's find out. One of the simplest and most popular magnet motors is the Bedini motor. This motor was invented by John Bedini, an American inventor and engineer who claimed that his motor could run indefinitely on a single battery and also charge another battery at the same time. The Bedini motor consists of a coil of wire, a magnet, a transistor, a diode, and two batteries. The coil of wire is attached to a wheel that has a magnet on it. The wheel is placed between two other magnets that are fixed on a base. The transistor acts as a switch that turns the coil on and off, the diode prevents the current from flowing back to the battery. The two batteries are connected in series, with one battery powering the coil and the other battery being charged by the coil. The Bedini motor works by using the magnetic field of the coil to repel the magnet on the wheel and make it spin. When the wheel spins, it generates electricity in the coil, which is then used to charge the second battery. The transistor switches the coil on and off at the right time to keep the wheel spinning and maintain the balance of energy. 
The Bedini motor is supposed to be a self-running device that can produce free electricity and also recharge itself. But does it really work? Well, not quite. The Bedini motor is actually not a perpetual motion machine, but rather a pulse motor. A pulse motor is a type of electric motor that uses short pulses of current to drive a magnetic rotor. A pulse motor is more efficient than a conventional electric motor, but it still consumes energy from the battery. The Bedini motor does not create any excess energy or charge the second battery for free. It simply transfers energy from one battery to another, while losing some energy due to heat and friction. The Bedini motor will eventually stop running when both batteries are drained. Another example of a magnet motor is the Perendif motor. This motor was invented by Mike Brady, a South African inventor, who claimed that his motor could produce 20 kilowatts of power without using any fuel or external source of energy. The Perendiv motor consists of several discs that have magnets arranged in a circular pattern. The discs are mounted on a shaft that is connected to a generator. The magnets on each disc are aligned in such a way that they create a repulsive force between them and cause the discs to rotate. The rotation of the discs drives the generator and produces electricity. The Perendiv motor works by using the magnetic force of the magnets to create a continuous motion that can power a generator and produce free electricity. The Perendiv motor is supposed to be a self-sustaining device that can run indefinitely without any input or output of energy. But does it really work? Well, not at all. The Perendiv motor is actually a fraud and a hoax. Mike Brady never demonstrated his motor in public or provided any credible evidence of its performance. He only showed videos and photos of his motor that were either fake or manipulated. He also took money from investors and customers who wanted to buy his motor, but never delivered any product or service. He was eventually arrested and charged with fraud and theft. These are just two examples of magnet motors that have been claimed or demonstrated by various inventors and enthusiasts. There are many more examples of magnet motors that you can find on the internet or YouTube, but none of them have been proven to work or verified by independent experts. Most of them are either fake, flawed, or fraudulent. So, why do people still believe in magnet motors? And why do people still try to make them? Well, there are several reasons for this. Some of them are psychological, some of them are social, and some of them are economic. One psychological reason is the confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is the tendency to search for, interpret, favor, and recall information that confirms one's pre-existing beliefs or hypotheses. People who believe in magnet motors tend to ignore or dismiss any evidence that contradicts their belief and focus only on the evidence that supports their belief. They also tend to interpret ambiguous or incomplete information in a way that favors their belief. For example, they may see a video of a magnet motor running and assume that it is real and working, without considering the possibility that it is fake or has a hidden source of power. They may also see a diagram or a patent of a magnet motor and assume that it is valid and feasible, without considering the possibility that it is flawed or fraudulent. Another psychological reason is the wishful thinking. Wishful thinking is the formation of beliefs and making decisions according to what might be pleasing to imagine instead of by appealing to evidence, rationality, or reality. People who believe in magnet motors tend to have a strong desire for free and clean energy, and they hope that magnet motors can provide that. A social reason is the peer pressure. Peer pressure is the influence from members of one's peer group. People who believe in magnet motors tend to belong to a community or a network of like-minded people who share their belief and support their interest. They may also face criticism or ridicule from people who do not share their belief or interest. This may make them feel more attached to their belief and more motivated to defend or prove it. An economic reason is the profit motive. Profit motive is the desire for financial gain as an incentive in economic activity. Some people who claim or demonstrate magnet motors are not genuine believers, but rather opportunists who want to make money from their claims or demonstrations. They may try to sell their magnet motors or related products or services to unsuspecting customers or investors who are willing to pay for them. 
they may also try to attract attention or publicity from the media. So, are magnet motors justified and beneficial? Well, the answer is no. Magnet motors are not justified because they are not based on sound science or logic. They are based on false or flawed assumptions, misconceptions, or misunderstandings of how magnets and electricity work. They are also based on dubious or deceptive claims, demonstrations, or evidence that have not been verified or validated by independent experts. Magnet motors are not beneficial because they do not provide any free or clean energy. They only waste time, money, and resources that could be better spent on developing or supporting real and reliable sources of renewable energy, such as solar, wind, hydro, or geothermal. So, what should we do about magnet motors? Well, the best thing we can do is to educate ourselves and others about the reality and limitations of magnet motors. We should also be skeptical and critical of any claims or demonstrations of magnet motors that we encounter online or offline. We should also be aware and alert of any scams or frauds that involve magnet motors or related products or services. And we should also be supportive and respectful of the genuine efforts and achievements of the scientists and engineers who are working hard to solve the energy crisis and create a better future for us all. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments about magnet motors or anything else, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have more awesome videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Peace out.